In today's tutorial, let's do the spring dahlia dishcloth together. This is a really cute idea. There's only four rounds and let's get started right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the Spring Dahlia dishcloth and this is a really neat concept. Only it requires three colors, just a touch of a color in the middle and then we're gonna go to a, a different color on the outside and then even further. You could actually kinda do this as a uh, an idea for a sunflower. So here's what my choices are today. I'm going to do the middle and then I'm gonna do the secondary middle and then the outside with the nice sunshine here. Now this is a uh, Lily Sugar and Cream and this is not handicrafted. They're both the same yarns but depending where you are is the difference. So if you're in the United States you will know this yarn is Lily and if you're here in Canada you will know it as Bernat Handicrafter and online on Yarnspirations.com you can order either or. It doesn't matter what side of the border that you're on because they do ship worldwide as well. So without further ado let's get started. You're gonna need a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook today to begin. Okay let's grab our first color. Okay and you'll notice that it's called Robin's Egg in the pattern but of course you can substitute colors and anything that you wish. Remember that it is important to use cotton in the kitchen if you're using anything. So if you are gonna substitute your yarn please make sure that it's cotton because it will never last if it's anything else. So without further ado let's uh, create a slip knot and put that on the hook. So to begin the center all we just need to do is chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and once you have your eight done just go to the starting chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain and the other chain to form the interior ring of your dishcloth just like so. So let's move along to round number one. So round number one we're gonna chain one and then we're just gonna go inside the ring for single crochets and we're gonna do 16 single crochets all the way around. So let's count those together. So that was one and two Make sure that you get your straggler so it's around the ring so that it can get stuck underneath. So three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. And you notice that you're running out of space because the ring is coming all the way around. Because you're going around the ring just, just kind of shift them down to expose more of the chain. Okay, so that was 10 done. So we got 11, 12, 13, 14, just shift it again, 15 and 16. So I want you to join it to the beginning single crochet that you had started with in order to finish this going all the way around and you need to fasten off your yarn. I'm gonna show you how to fasten off now. So I joined it. So you just wanna trim, I always say about 12 inches. You probably don't need that much but I would do it anyway. And just trim your yarn and pull it through that loop. Now the instructions always say to kind of just uh, bring up that next color. I like to fasten off completely because then I know it's clean. So what I want to do is that I want to take a darning needle and insert it into the hook or insert uh, the yarn into the needle. And I want to go back and forth underneath the stitches three times. So just going up underneath. It is a dishcloth so it will get used so you want to take care of your loose ends now. So just once. Okay so just pull it out. Going in a different path but in the other direction for two just underneath the stitches and then going back in the same direction one more time for three. So because you've gone back and forth three times the yarn will never fall out like so and so then you can safely then cut this right down to the project and you will never have to worry about that popping out. So if you're doing this as a gift it's the best way to do. So this would be the only time I'm gonna show you how to fasten off at this particular idea but uh, when I say to fasten off and join the next one that's exactly what I want you to do. Let's move along to row number two or round number two. Let's move along to round number two and we're gonna create a slip knot to begin and I want to insert my hook in to the knot. So I wanna come into any one of the single crochets going all the way around. So just into one of them and just join it. So just yarn over and pull through the loops. Okay, so pull right through. So you've just joined it now and now you can chain four which counts as a treble. So chain four and then come into the exact same one that you joined with and then wrap the hook twice to make a treble again. So going into the same one. So I'm pulling it through, pull through two, two, 
and two. So in this particular revolution what we want to do is put in two trebles into each one of the single crochets going all the way around. So let's wrap the hook twice to make a treble into the next stitch. Pull through two, two and two. Do it again, wrap twice into the same stitch. Okay, once you get that done move to the next stitch. So wrap twice, next stitch. And you wanna put two trebles into each. So I'll leave that with you and I'll see you back here in just a moment. And you should have a total of 16 uh, pairs of trebles going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm doing my trebles into each. And if you played your cards right you should have 16 sets of, of two trebles into uh, all the way around. So once you get that done just uh, join it with a slip stitch. So the top of the first one, uh, top of the chain four and then what I want you to do is keep that yarn on and what we're going to do then is go around once again uh, using the same color but do something slightly different this time. So moving on to round number three I had to actually do this in advance in order to show you what's gonna happen because I can't seem to explain it what's happening on this uh, as I do it. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna chain up four which counts as a treble and what we're going to do then is that we're going to advance with uh, doing like a cluster work of trebles that come together at the peak. Then we're gonna do chain three. But what you're gonna notice in this particular uh, round is that the first one of the treble is the same stitch as the last treble that was over here. And then you advance two more just like so and comes back and then chain three again. The first one then comes back to where this other one was and then you advance two more. So if you can uh, pay attention to that it's really a lot easier to handle on this particular pattern. So without further ado let's uh, try and do this together. So I now I've just pulled everything back out and I'm ready for round number three. So we're gonna chain up th uh, four. So one, two, three and four. Just so you know this doesn't really count as anything. This is more of a builder in order to get you to what you need to do. So we need to pay attention to the first stitch, the next stitch and the third stitch over to do what we're about to do. So we're going to be doing cluster work. So this is how you do it. So you wrap the hook twice and the first one is in the first same stitch of where you've done the join exactly where that chain four is coming out of and you pull through, pull through two and two and hold. Do not finish this. You wanna keep it together. So you're gonna wrap the hook again two more times and advance to the next stitch. Insert in, pull through, pull through two and two and hold. Okay, so you're grabbing all this. So what you want to do is that you wanna have a total of four loops on your hook. So you gotta advance one more in order to make that happen. So wrap the hook twice, going in, pull through, pull through two and two. So now you have four loops on the hook like it tells you to do and now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four and then chain three. So one, two and three. So what you're going to notice then in the remainder of the rounds going around is that we had to have the four loops in the, to, to do this. So because we had to uh, build it up by a fourth you will never, you will only have ever in groups of three as we move forward. So let's uh, start again. So you've just done chaining three. So the first one is in the same one of where you've done the last one. So wrap twice and going in, pull through, pull through two and two and hold and then advance to the next one. So wrap twice going into the next one, pull through, two and two and hold and wrap again and going into the next one, pull through, pull through two and two and hold. You now have your four loops on the hook to satisfy this. Yarn over, pull through all four loops and then what you have to then do is just chain three again. So one, two, three. Let's advance again. So the first one is in the same one that you did the join or, or sorry the first one that you did here. So wrap the hook twice and going into that one pull through two and two and hold and then do it again. So advance to the next one and do it again. Advance to the next one. Pull through. So now you have your four loops on your hook to satisfy this. Pull through and then chain three. So please do the same thing going all the way around. I'm gonna show you one more time. So wrap the hook twice into the same one as the last one and then continue to advance until you get your four loops left on your hook. Now I have my four, pull through all and then chain three. One, two and three. Please do that same thing going all the way around. So you come up all the way back around and we are just in the clusters. And you will have a total of 16 of these clusters going all the way around if you're counting. And you come right up to the last one. You got your four loops on the hook. Don't forget you still need to chain three 
and then just join it to the top of the, the, the first cluster over here. So join it to where they're all joined here in the top and then you get to fasten off this yarn and then let's move on to the next part of this tutorial. Before we move on to round number four, I did a sample here to make sure I understand it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to join on to the top of one of the clusters. You're going to then chain six and then you're going to come back to the fourth chain to do a slip stitch and then add three trebles into this space and then one single crochet over here. So what you're thinking when you're looking at this thing is that you were, you would think that you were building up to create the point but in actual fact what you're doing is that because you're chaining six here to create the point it makes this whole thing kind of flop over and so because of that it's kind of a really unique look. So, so let me just, um, let's begin the next part of this tutorial looking at the good side and I want to join this to the top of the first cluster. So it's right where everything is coming together. To see how this is all kind of leaning in toward the same one? That is the top of the cluster and I want to join my yarn with the slip stitch. So just put it over and pull through and keeping that straggler down on front of it so that you can see it. So just join it like so. So let's begin our first steps. So we want to begin by chaining six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming back to the fourth one, so count back. So one, two, three, and four. Go to the back loop only to do a slip stitch. So pull through and through. This creates the point that you're seeing in the, in the work. So now what we're going to do in this chain three space is that we're gonna do three trebles. So wrap the hook three times or two times going into the space, pull through, pull through two, two, and two and do that two more times. So these are just regular trebles and you're thinking to yourself this doesn't make sense but I've already given you a preview to why it does make sense. So now that you have your three in here, you're gonna come to the top of the next cluster and insert a single crochet into the next top cluster and then begin again. So when you did that, it's going to pull it over so then it will lean over like so. So let's begin again. So we're gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the fourth. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, do a slip stitch. Coming now into the next chain three space, you're gonna do three trebles. We are talking US terms today. So treble is wrapping the hook twice where I do know that in the UK treble means a double crochet. Okay, now you got your three in here. Come to the next cluster in the top and put in a single crochet and then that will pull that one over as well. So what I want you to do is go all the way around doing the same thing and I'll meet you back here to finish off. So I'm coming up all the way around. I'm finishing the final petals here with trebles. And once I get all these three in for the final, then I just want to join it to the top, uh, to the very starting of the first cluster down here. And then I'm gonna use my techniques of just grabbing the darning needle and just finishing this off. And just cutting a string, it's about 12 inches long. Just pulling it through and then just taking the uh, yarn and putting it back through the darning needle. It is the outside and if you are truly using it, uh, you're gonna want uh, the needle um, work in there just to be able to hide it better. And even if you're not using it, you do want a nice finishing technique because you may be selling this at a craft show or whatever uh, that you have in mind. So just go back and forth underneath the stitches three times and then you can safely cut your work out very easily. So you can cut the, the loose end out very easily at the end. So just through three times and now I gotta finish Dahlia just like so and this is a really neat idea. Um, oops, I got some string hanging out here in the front. I was hiding that as they went across and there you go. So until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>